A fillet is a concave surface used to transition between two planes. It helps increase bonding area, it reinforces that joint, as well as helps distribute the stress. Another important thing is that it makes it a lot easier to lay fiberglass over this area. Fillets are commonly seen in stitch and glue boats, but can also be used to help bond composite parts together. We recommend using a thickened epoxy for this process because it helps the fillet keep its shape better as well as stay in place if you're doing anything overhead. For filleting, we recommend using one of three of our fillers, the 405 Filleting Blend, the 406 Colloidal Silica, or the 407 Low Density Filler. The 407 is a low density filler and the 405 and the 406 are both high density fillers. We won't get into that very much now, but that matters a lot when you're thinking about fillet radius. First, we'll talk about the 405 filleting blend. The 405 is a wood tone filler. It's similar to a mahogany color, and it's really great if you're doing a clear coat over your fillets. Next is the 406 colloidal silica. The 406 is really good for general bonding purposes as well as creating fillets. It comes out an off-white color and can be easily dyed any other color. And finally, we have our 407 low density filler. It has a dark reddish brown color and is really light and easy to sand. Though all of our fillers should leave you with a nice smooth surface that doesn't require very much sanding if your bead is laid down properly.